Do you need more rosin? No, thanks. I think I have enough. Okay. Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for sharing my videos, for subscribing, for sending me all kinds of wonderful messages. I love you all. I love you, my dear subscribers. I love you, my dear patrons. A special shout out to my patron, Scott Lawson. Today, I'm going to tell you how to use a new rosin. So when you have a completely new rosin, when you're a beginner and you suddenly notice that your violin doesn't sound good, it means you're not using enough rosin. When your rosin is not new, it's completely flat and you can use it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times before playing every day and that will be enough. But if you have a completely new rosin, the surface is really shiny and you have to do the same thing for 5 or possibly even 10 minutes. You have to keep going and while you're applying rosin to your bow, you have to keep turning it so that the whole surface gets completely flat. That's very important. So now you may go to a violin shop and the clerk in the violin shop will tell you that you have to scratch the rosin with your knife. Please do not do that. Of course, it immediately starts working, kind of, and you have a lot of bow, a lot of rosin in your bow, and not a lot of bow and rosin. Hello, what am I talking about? You seemingly have enough or more than enough rosin on your bow. But first of all, it's not good for the rosin. It destroys it. This is very breakable, a highly breakable thing. Never drop it, ever. And if you drop it, you have to buy a new one. That's your fate. So never follow that advice and scratch the rosin with your bow. I was going to say, but he suggested to do it with a knife. Imagine that. For rosin, be very gentle with your rosin. Just apply it to your bow for as long as it's needed until the surface is totally flat. That's what I recommend. I really don't recommend scratching it with a knife because first of all, it's not good for the rosin. And second of all, you'll have far too much rosin on your bow. You won't be able to control the amount you have in your bow. You suddenly will have too much and too much is not good. First of all, some people are allergic to it. So you'll have all that dust flying around and you'll be sneezing. And second of all, it won't make your violin sound good. It will make your violin sound far too loud. You won't be able to produce a nice and gentle sound. And then strong sound. It will only be too loud, just too noisy and unpleasant. And out of control. That's why I don't recommend that. So remember, when you have a new rosin, and especially new bow, Oh my goodness, in that case, you'll really have to invest five or 10 minutes going like this for a very long time. Just keep doing it. I won't do it now because I might get far too much rosin on my bow and you don't want that, right? Otherwise, you'll be needing your earplugs when you listen to me. So that's a very, very important tip for beginners. Remember to apply rosin on your bow, especially when it's a new bow and a new rosin. You need to spend double as much time applying rosin on your bow, and then you'll have a beautiful sound. And then you have everything under control. You can produce a nice and soft sound. And then you can make it stronger. And then you can make it sound mighty. You have everything under control when you have just the right amount of rosin on your bow. That's why it's so important. Did you find this tip helpful? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also let me know which other challenges you're dealing with as a violin beginner.